This is Peter Pappas here with a shout out to the teachers in our summer workshop. As you know, we're flipping some content, so I've prepared this brief guide to three easy ways to search for primary sources on the Library of Congress website. Let's start by opening the homepage loc.gov. One of the best ways to get lessons is just take advantage of the curated content. Uh, and lessons that are already here on the site. Uh, you go and click on teachers and uh, from here you can uh, you can actually look at uh, lessons by common core standards. Uh, so you can pick your grade level, you can look at state content standards, so you can pick your state. Let's go down here to Oregon and uh, let's choose grade 5 and search and grade five concerns the, um, let's say this benchmark here that has to do with uh, exploration of North America and you get yourself right to some great primary source sets and lesson plans. Um, and the other, I think, real good source of uh, curated lessons that are already developed, if I go back to the teacher's homepage here in classroom materials, is to just go to this page, um, which has uh, primary source sets, presentations, activities, themed resources, but my, my quickest way in that I would recommend for you is lesson plans. And since we tend to teach our history chronologically, I'd click by era. And you can see that you can scroll down through a whole set of uh, lessons and uh, we could click on Civil War photojournalism and from here we'll find lots and lots of resources and documents along with lesson plans that we can use with our students. And uh, let's say I want to do something on the history of the car. Um, have to think a little bit about search terms. So I'm going to use automobile and I'm going to start to type in automobile. And you notice that as I uh, start to type, there are a number of related um, words or variations on auto that come up, like automobile travel, automobile club, etc. But I'm going to keep it kind of wide open now. I'm going to click automobile. And um, just to orient you here, You'll see that we have available online is highlighted. That's certainly something I want to make sure of. You'll see down the side here we have different formats like photos and prints. Um, in the original format, here's the online format. We have dates, locations, sites, collections, contributors. And these things are going to vary as we dig in a little bit deeper. Uh, I'm going to start by looking at some maps. So I'm going to click here on maps and you'll see that we go from 8,000 items down to uh, 13, which is a little nicer for me to work with. And I'm going to look down here and you'll see this is an interesting uh, detail from a uh, from a shell road map. Um, and notice that I can look at some related subjects here, like if I wanted to click on automobile driving, um, because we have headings here. Automobile driving 1930 to 1940, women in transportation, and so forth. So there's always ways to uh, find related things, but I'm just going to click on this image here, and you'll see that it uh, shows up as uh, something I can zoom into, etc. Uh, we can go back to the bibliographic information here on it, which essentially takes me back to the start page. Uh, you'll see I have a number of options for downloading it. Okay. Uh, now what you have to do is you have to close this out uh, and that brings us uh, back to, uh, wait, we got to get back. Oh, I've been cheating there a little bit. There's a few other things I had open. Okay, so we're back to our original search. Notice that maps is highlighted here and here. So if I want to uh, look at a different kind of format, I'm going to X out maps. And this time I'm going to uh, look at uh, films. And uh, so right in here, you see we have film and video. So now we have 100 films that I could look at. Uh, and let's try Automobile Parade. And you'll notice that there's a, a video that I could actually watch at this point. I could preview it. And uh, I can 
I can scrub into it a little bit and we'll see it's an Edison video. So, so this might be something that I'd like to add to my collection. I'm going to pause it. Um, again, as I noted, mentioned earlier, you'll see that this has related subjects. This also has ways to both embed this video here. If I want to copy and embed this uh, embed code, I can also come down here and I can download it in a number of different formats. Um, I'm kind of curious what electric automobiles brings up. So I'm going to click on electric automobiles here. And you'll see now that um, we've sort of left the film heading. We're back to all items with with really a subject heading as opposed to a um, to a um, format heading. And so you'll see I can click in here to the electric buckboard and look at this uh, old electric car. Are you going to load up for me there? Let's see. There we are. And I can enlarge the image. And I could even zoom in a little bit and out. Okay. So um, let's just try to go back. We're going to eliminate this page here. And we're going to go back to the original search, which was automobiles. And uh, I'm going to eliminate film and video and I'm going to do um, one last search here and just look at um, let's say at newspapers and you'll see here that I could find various newspapers with articles on it I could eliminate newspapers I could go into photographs and uh, once I'm in photographs I could say gee I think I'd like to just limit it to the uh, to the 20th century and I could drill down a little bit further and say gee I'm interested in automobile photos from the 1920s and I could click there and uh, get to automobile showroom okay so you'll see there's lots of tools here it's also uh, quite frankly a bit of a rabbit hole when you start following related information but uh, there is some great ways to uh, gather uh, content, primary source content using the built-in Library of Congress search. Let's look at our third way to find primary source material at the Library of Congress site. This is through using what's called a search operator. So um, I'll show you a couple different ways that perhaps you would bring that into play. Uh, let's say that I'm reading, a, I'm at an exhibition at the Library of Congress site that uh, references um, uh, early American, early European exploration to America. And I see this rather uh, interesting uh, image here done by a Spanish explorer. And I say, gee, I wonder what else he might have done. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to highlight his name and put it on my clipboard. And I'm going to uh, add the search operator to that and go here to start a new Google search. And that search operator is site colon loc.gov. Or in other words, any particular website that you'd like to search, if you uh, put site colon in front of it, then you're going to limit the search to only content on that site. So in this particular case, if I go to um, the search term searching only site colon loc.gov, I'm finding material from the Library of Congress site that includes that name. So this might, for example, uh, include some images. And if I click in here, you'll see, yes, in fact, there are a number of images. And I've gotten to yet a different uh, image by the same Spanish explorer. Okay, so let's let's try this search operator with another term. Uh, earlier I was, uh, I saw something on electric automobiles. I thought, gee, I wonder what else I could find on electric automobiles. So I'm going to put in electric automobile with the uh, search operator site dot excuse me, colon loc.gov, and we're going to search on that. And uh, you'll see that we find uh, 
an entire uh, uh, lesson plan on um, uh, electric cars in America, which is great. Uh, I can search by images and uh, perhaps find this particular image of uh, charging the battery. Okay, uh, let's come at this from a whole nother direction. Uh, a couple days ago, I, I read an interesting uh, book review about a uh, about a man back in uh, the turn of the century who was uh, kidnapped from Africa, Oda Benga, and brought to the United States and actually put on exhibit uh, at the St. Louis World's Fair. So, uh, gee, I wonder if they have anything on on Oda Benga at the Library of Congress. So I'm going to uh, put his name on the uh, clipboard here. And I'm going to go back over here to the Library of Congress site, and I'm going to search on Otabenga, and you'll see that it uh, doesn't really turn anything up. Okay, so let me try using the um, a different approach, which is the um, search operator with Otabenga. So I'm going to put Otabenga uh, site colon loc.gov and I'm going to pop that in and you'll see in fact they do have material on him at the Library of Congress however in this particular item he's called uh, Oda Bengi ending in an I so again the um, the search operator is a very very powerful tool uh, it gives you another way to uh, explore the really vast and rich collection at the Library of Congress